Here's the head coach Larry Subwork for the baseball team's three game series this weekend against LaSalle. Coach, uh, you moved to a doubleheader on Friday. Um, what does that mean or how, what kind of impact does that have for you guys this weekend? Well, the only thing it could really affect would be the bullpen is that you're playing two games in a row. So if somebody pitches on Friday in that first game and normally maybe we could uh, uh, the next day bring them back a little bit, you're not going to bring them back on the second day. So it could affect bullpen, but it will affect bullpen for both teams. Now, you're 4-1 and one in the last five games. Uh, kind of assess where you're at right now playing your best ball of the year, I would assume. Uh, just give me your thoughts on your team so far right now. Well, I mean, I think I've told everybody for as long as I've been here, the St. Bonaventure baseball program generally struggles the first 15 or so games just because we can't get out on the field and we don't have a field house. So you always try to stay around 500. We were not successful doing it that year, this year, so that was a disappointment. But if we're any good, we usually start figuring it out at this time of year. I mean, we're doing this interview right now out on the field, which means we just got to practice in, which is a plus. So uh, we don't think the 4-1 and one is... Uh, uh, I mean, we think it's because we're starting to figure things out and get outside and playing a little more often. So hopefully that'll continue. And starting pitching has been a big part of that. Uh, team ERA the last five games is 2.92. Uh, that's the best it's been uh, all year in a five-game stretch. Uh, kind of assess your pitching staff right now. Well, uh, the only pitcher that's been very good for the, you know, the whole time has been Eddie Gray. He's been the constant. But we've been getting better pitching now from Jordan Crane, uh, from Cale Johnson, who got healthy. Cale was out for a while. He had the one good outing in Florida, and then his arm was bothering him again. He's starting to get healthy again. And we've got some help from some other guys out of the bullpen, including Jamie Walschlager, who pitched a great game the other day. So we're starting to get some other people to help besides uh, Eddie, and that's why you're 4-1 and one in your last five games. Okay. Uh, Brad Steinbach uh, is kind of been the team leader offensively in every category. He's leading the team in 10 offensive categories, and he's in the top three and 14 total uh, what does it mean for a young team that you have here what does it mean to have a senior leader like that step up well Brad's a guy that you're well aware Jason is probably the most physically gifted guy in the team uh, but wasn't the best baseball player uh, but he's really put things together and figured them out this year uh, offensively as far as hitting and using the whole field and stealing bases uh, hits for power uh, he's become a baseball player just not a good athlete this year and that is something that uh, uh, the young guys can look at and emulate, and uh, we're glad to have Brad. He did a great job as a in the off season as a captain, also. Uh, this is a LaSalle team coming in that swept a Temple at their place last weekend. Always tough to do in conference. Uh, a Temple team also that's leading the nation in hitting uh, at 347. What do you expect this weekend out of this team? Well, we know they can pitch. I mean, anytime uh, uh, you play a team that's leading the nation in hitting as Temple was and you go in and sweep them, it means you guys, you had some people that could pitch. We know these first two games tomorrow, we're going to see a very good right-hander and a left-hander from them. And they've got a guy out of the bullpen that's got some of the best numbers I've seen for this time of year for a northern school. He's already got eight saves and he's only walked two people in like 21 innings of work. And he has a lot more strikeouts than innings pitched. So, you know, that's, uh, you got those two type of starting arms and a guy out of the bullpen. Uh, they're going to have very good pitching. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck. Thanks.